Hi, this is the Buger Sphere, which has been doing all the rounds on the uh, social medias the last couple of months, probably, I uh, think. But anyway, um, this just uh, popped up today. And look, breaking, breaking news. Uh, uh, the Buger, am I pronouncing that correctly? Um, sphere might not uh, just be strange, it may be transmitting signals to space. Um, Jamie Musen just revealed that Mexican engineers analyzing the metallic sphere found it emits a low low frequency signal at 2.3 hertz, a range used to send messages beyond Earth's atmosphere. But it's not just the pins acting like antennas, the entire sphere is an antenna. Signals were observed fluctuating, disappearing and then returning, suggesting intelligent patterning or unknown communications protocols. According to engineers working with UNAM experts, don't know what that is, uh, the sphere's static field doesn't block the signals, it amplifies it through motion. Uh -huh. um, they now believe, do you have to shake it? I don't, I'm not sure what the deal is there. They now believe the internal chip is coordinating fiber optic bundles that regulate signal batches. Um, uh, this isn't just strange tech, it's potentially extraterrestrial hardware broadcasting into the cosmos or responding to something that's already here. More soon, and we have a video, so let's watch it. Unfortunately, the voiceover on this um, like seems to be like AI dubbed, but we're assuming that it's actually correct here. Um, anyway, the uh, tweet said that it's emitting uh, 2.3 hertz signals, so check it out. They've got like a uh, <laughs> Van de graaff -y thing happening in the background here, and look, oh, look at the little hovering UFO there. Oh, beauty. Anyway, they've got some um, a complicated frequency measuring gear here, and they're measuring the Bugosphere. Here it is. So let's let's watch it. Heard. That's out of range. It's there. It is right now. But for example, right now it's 1.2. Rejected 2.2 is recorded. So 1.2. The frequency they're talking varies. hertz. No. What does that mean? Well, it's not a frequency or these are different frequencies. It's a game of frequencies. It goes oh, the up, alien down, writings on disappears, it. comes back. I don't know. It's trying to communicate, or I don't know, but it's lying. This would explain why some people get headaches. Yes, of course. There's Gives people headaches. And why he oh, the there's an emission. Look, there is absolutely an emission here. Look at this. 2.1 hertz. Uh, this is a very expensive, complicated frequency measuring device they've got here. No doubt calibrated. There's an Look. emission here. An effect. A definite emission there. You, you saw it. Look, there it is there. Definite emission, 2.1 hertz. It is There's emitting stuff. Emission here. Frequency meters beeping. Engineer Rodolfo Garrido. First, before anything else, the signal that was detected yesterday is clearly visible on the instrument. Clearly. We saw it's it. It's a 2.13 hertz signal. 2.13 hertz. Look, the frequency is very low. You would say Look. it's significant, but suddenly it went down. There it more, is. Went up it's, a little it's, and then the signal was what? gone. It was. It just vanished. It just went. Some time passed, and we received the signal again. And and they got it back. That's reported. Look. Well, I can't explain this at the moment. I declare my confidence, and it was necessary to seek advice from more experts. Yeah, I can't explain that people, either. That is especially weird. One of my teachers at the university. This one, who is associated with the communications issue. Look clear. Two point. Now it's two point two. Two point one drops a bit. And so he saw in great detail the instrumentation that was done yesterday, the measurements, but he also saw in great detail the sphere. So, well, he located us. He located that from the beginning my position was incorrect, that it's not ah. where the chip is, just an antenna, but that the entire sphere is a complete antenna, the entire sphere. The whole sphere is the antenna. Got it. Already seen. Then those must surely be associated with some association Look, two hertz. with fibers that there are it and surely it transmits and receives, but the order of how the fibers are going to be handled, we go in batches perfectly, surely distributed in the pins, and that is what the chip is for. Yeah, you saw the pins on the top, that's where the little fiber optic uh, things um, emit, but the whole sphere is the transmit, and there's the chip in it, look! Transmitting or receiving at Whoa! Also, I told him, I questioned my teacher saying, well, teacher, check it out. But if it is wrapped you know, the chip in the, in the middle, field, so, so well, there's those little, those things, things, that's where the little fiber optic nodes are coming says, out. No, because the static field is moving and this helps the signal. The static wow. field moves and it helps the signal. Got it. Got it. Right. So the final thesis that was reached. That makes sense. Is receiving or sending low frequency and low frequencies, Jamie, are not for transmitting radio programs here. No. Mahertz is used here. Low frequencies are used to transmit into space. The lower the frequency and the more powerful it is, the further it travels and reaches further into space. It's got to be 
For example, at least galactic scale? It's got to be... Was I, uh, well, to no, it could be, like... A very low frequency. I don't know. But Leave it in the comments. Power because low frequencies are the ones that reach the furthest, the mm. farthest in space. Yep. Possibly galactic wide would be That's my guess, at so 2.3 hertz. Well, the truth is that although I've found some answers at the moment, listen to this, I have more questions. But I don't think you're going to get from galaxy well, to galaxy to with this, this thing. It's, it's not the freaking Stargate. There's no shortage of. Hi, check out what crash landed in my backyard. There's a huge ditch there and I found this thing, this uh, sphere. I've uh, completely cleaned it up, but I, I can't explain where it came from and it's emitting these really weird frequencies. Check this out. It's emitting these really strange frequencies. Look, look at this. I mean, you know, like, oh, like two hertz, 1.2, two point something hertz, something like that. It's emitting these really weird frequencies. And check this out. And if I turn my studio lights off here, you might be able to see that it's also interfering with my uh, frequency measurement instrument here and making it flash. Look at this, it's just making the backlight flash. What's what's going on? These strange signals it's emitting are interfering with my uh, frequency meter here. If you've got any idea what this could possibly be or where it came from, please leave it in the comments down below. But I can't see how this could be possibly um, man-made. This is like not of human hands. I don't know what on earth this is and why it's emitting these strange frequencies. I, unbelievable. I, I, I just don't get it.